So hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. Today we're going to be looking at how to open up the Retroid Pocket 2, remove the battery so that you can then successfully install uh, Android 8.1 onto the Retroid Pocket 2. Now I'm making this video because I followed the process to try and flash the new Android software onto um, the device and it basically soft bricked it. So the only way of actually fixing this is to open it up take out the, the sort of battery and then install it to your PC again and sort of reflash it that way. And amazingly it does work brilliantly. Um, when I was following the process my PC crashed at least five times and it just would not do it. only got to about 25% uh, flashing and it just stopped, rebooted the PC and then nothing happened. And then uh, I think it was about fourth or fifth time the Retroid Pocket 2 just completely bricked it would not turn on it would do nothing even though it had plenty of charge in it, it had at least 80 percent charge in the battery and it would not turn on so i followed the process um and the only way of doing it is to remove the battery and then do the process again and reflash and it works a treat amazingly it does but yeah it's a little bit daunting trying to open it up and take the battery out and um, but it's actually simpler to do than you might think so the purpose of this video is to show you how to do that so you can then successfully install Android 8.1. So initially I actually followed this um, guide to a point. I mean there is a video for this but it's an old version. So this is uh, Retro Game Core who is absolutely brilliant for guides for all these type of handhelds. Um, but you just need to be wary that sometimes there's a few missing steps here and there and it's been changed since the initial video. So the actual guide itself does hint at that so i'll leave a link in the description so that you can follow this guide but i would actually recommend following the guide here where you actually get the um source code and the documents to be able to to sort of process this uh, android 8.1 so the files are in this folder and it takes you to google drive and this is where you actually download the relative um files that you need so as much as that guide's good, it does miss a few steps, so you need to be wary of that. So if you click on stock firmware, you can see here, you uh, go into the start here, download the SPF flash, download RP2 key backup tools, and in here also is the actual guide, which I followed more than the Retro Game Corps one, and highly recommend that. So if you click on that, this guide tells you everything that you need to do. Uh, and it's actually, it's really, really good. And it has all the steps and it does tell you what to do if it doesn't work, which I'll, I'll sort of get to the point here using the SPF flash tool, which is step four. And this is where it all went wrong for me. Um, tried to flash it, download it, and nothing happened. So we've got to these two stages here and nothing happened. And it does tell you if it gives you an error. Then unplug the device and try again. But I kept doing that, nothing happened. So then it tells you to take out the battery and then try and do it again. So and that's what we've done. So again, just going back to this initial page, you need to download those two. Then there's a soft brick guide here you can follow, but it's, it's basically what I'm going to show you in the video. There's the old firmware versions, and what you need here is to go onto the 8.1 uh, and download. I used 8.1 version 3, the second option here. Uh, download the two files here, so you get stock apps. Um, you need to pick I pick the one, the SD card one, the top one. Um, and you also need to use the update files themselves and download this. Up. This is probably the, the most important thing that has all the, the, the relative things you need. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm not really going to th go through the, the install process. There's plenty of videos out there that do that. What I'm going to show you is what happens at the flash if you have a fail. We're going to open up the Retroid Prime and show you what to do. Let's get to that. So guys, first thing maybe to do is make sure you power off the unit. Okay, completely power off. To get started. Now ideally what you would need for this um, is got um, a controller screwdriver. Um, one of these sort of little tools to help prise the back open. Um, this is also a, a tool that I've been using to prise it open. And ideally some kind of set of tweezers. 
Now I actually got these as part of a, a toolkit for fixing Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I used them for sort of fixing the Joy-Con drifting issue, um, which worked a treat. So they're, they're real, it only cost a couple of pounds off of Amazon, for example. But anyway, let's get started. So if you turn the unit over, the first thing you sort of need to do is remove the four rubber protectors for the screws underneath. And it's only four screws, so it's not too bad. So that's what I use the tweezers for. So I use them to... So I get the... I just poke them in, it's fine. Now keep them safe. You don't want to lose them, put them to the side. Okay. Now underneath, they're really, it's really just a sort of small jeweler screwdriver, Phillips. And they're relatively easy to come out the screws. Just keep screwing until the actual screw comes out, like so. Again, keep it safe, don't lose it. So the screws are relatively easy to come out. The sort of tricky part is sort of taking off the case. So I found the best thing to do is use this, this sort of tool. And so you see the, the sort of gap between the the trigger there is just ease that in gently around there and then open it up so it only actually clicks together all the way around and then just keep doing the same all the way around. You can so you also use this as other tool. It does prise off gently, obviously I've, I've took it off before. So sort of ease your way all the way around and it, it does click in. Also be careful because it's connected to the motherboard. So the battery is actually here. So you can see this is actually the battery, it's connected to the motherboard here. Um, and what you need to do is actually remove this, but if you see underneath it, it can, there's a little screw that sort of stops you from actually taking it out. So you need to remove this screw first. Ideally before you actually take the the connection out You can see there's only there's four connections. There's, there's a couple connections here. There's one there and two over there It's quite easy to out. Just be careful prise it very gently off and then we can get to this So take this little screw out Okay, don't mix this up with the other screws because it's a slightly different size um, You can see it's slightly smaller than the other screws slightly different it's a different type of screw, so, so I'll put that to the side and then you can then prise this out very gently so if we prise it out as you can see, so ease it out gently and put that to the side and that's pretty much it that's the battery removed um, you can really go back to the computer, you can maybe just place this over to stop uh, touching any of the insides or getting uh, anything affected, but what you need to do now is go back to the computer and connect um, Back to the computer again and do the flash um, To update the 8.1 Android and it should work I mean, For me it worked first time. I was actually surprised how well it worked without this battery being connected um, I didn't get any issues whatsoever So if you run the, the update, let it do its thing. You should get to the, the screen. It says download OK then you can just completely disconnect again and connect um, the battery all up again just reverse what we've just done turn it on and we should be good to go so the installation is complete turn the unit back on and it will slowly um, reboot itself again it might take a little bit of time but it does 100% work which is amazing So give it time to do its thing. So I go to the settings and show that it is installed. As you can see, it's been updated. Oh, so I turn this around to the camera properly. Not sure if you can actually see that, but updated to Android 8.1, which is quite cool, and it works. So another little tip, but if you don't have this Retroid app installed, you can go to a Toolbox. And it, there's an option here that says install Retroid Pocket App and you just press that and it will install it if it's not already there 
um, and then you get the option to play the games through the other operating system, Retroid Pocket System. Which is okay, it's, it's probably easier to use than some of the individual apps and stuff, and it's, it's less complicated, shall we say. And some of the games have definitely improved through um, 8.1, which is great. You can see there's a lot less slowdown now, which is amazing. Before on the Android 6.0 it was actually quite slow. It ain't perfect by no means, but um, it does work quite well. There's a little bit of breakdown on the actual music, but it does work quite well. It certainly zipped my along a lot faster than it was, it was painfully slow before. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video today, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.